the fastest growing industry in the world these days, in the criminal environment, is human trafficking. Human trafficking. This industry is second only in size to drug trafficking, and it's growing faster than drug trafficking, is predicted to overcome it in frequency and profitability in just a number of years. Human trafficking, for those of you who may not know, is modern-day slavery, in which people profit from exploiting others through force or fraud or, co or coercion or deception. You may ask the question, well, why is this so popular for big-time criminals? Why are people getting into this so much? Well, there's two key reasons. Number one is that demand is sky high. 80% of all human trafficking is in the sex industry. And this happens in person for personal pleasure. This happens through photos and through videos. But the truth is, however it's done, there is big money in human trafficking. And the heights of the demand have not yet been met. The market is easy to enter and it's not yet saturated. The other reason why it's such a big industry in our culture and worldwide is that you can only sell drugs once. And then they're used and they're gone. But you can sell a person over and over and over again in one day and then do it again the next day and the next day. The profit margin on a person is extraordinarily high. Now I've been studying this subject for the last year. It got stimulated because of a gathering that we had on this subject. I've been a part of a conference we had here at Christ Community read some books, watched some videos to get up the education curve. And I need to tell you, I've had a significant change in perspective from the studies that I'm done. I'm a little bit embarrassed to tell you what I used to think, but it's where I'm at, so I'll tell you where I've been. In the past, whenever I heard of a prostitute, I thought of a criminal. I thought of somebody who would be equally culpable to the person who was paying for their services, called a John, and that both of them would be criminals and should be punished appropriately for that. But to my embarrassment, I never really thought much about what would cause a woman to get to this point in her life. What I didn't know is that many of these women are in the role that they're in because they're slaves. Now, it's not true for all of them, but a great deal of them were kidnapped, seduced, manipulated, or coerced into that role. And here's how it works. Some sweet-talking man or woman, or oftentimes an older teenager, will meet them. And these people are a master at identifying a profile of a girl who is the most vulnerable. They'll shower her with compliments. They'll tell her just how pretty or talented she is. They'll find out what she's interested in next. And what does she want to do? A dancer, a singer, a model, an actress? And whatever she wants to do, they will begin to sell her her dream and say, oh yeah, you've got the talent for that. You've got the looks for that. And I can help you. They'll say, I'm in that industry, and I'll open up doors for you. And they'll persuade her to take some motion down those tracks and begin to trust that person. And once she's isolated in an apartment, in a home, in a different city, everything changes. Once she's been alienated from her friends and her family, the tables are turned. She's always threatened, often beaten, often drugged, and then conditioned for the task that's set ahead of her. There's oftentimes a twisted and sick affirmation of this girl for her love and for her beauty, and then a painful episode back-to-back -back that just messes with her mind. And what this does after weeks or months of doing these things back-to-back -back is that a girl gets broken brutally through addictions, through violence, and through unspeakable acts that prepare them for the horrific lifestyle that's to come. And once enough conditioning has taken place, the girl is put into play. Sometimes she's sold like cattle. Sometimes she's taken to another city. Sometimes she's sold into a different country. Oftentimes sold into the West because that's where the demand is and that's where people will pay for her. But for all of these girls, her world is her pimp or her owner. He controls her. 
Oftentimes he requires her to call him boyfriend or daddy. She's been sucked into this system the way that people get sucked into a cult. And at this point, she is not thinking clearly. She's become uh, a part of what's known as the Stockholm Syndrome, where she identifies with her abuser more than she identifies with the people who could potentially help her to get out of the system. And she, as a person, is broken beyond recognition. In doing my research, all of this was very disturbing to my soul. But perhaps what was most disturbing was finding out the average age at which this happens. Because in the United States, not worldwide, in the United States, the average age that a girl enters into prostitution is 12 to 14 years old. That's when it all starts, and that's when they're conditioned and broken. 